everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. It has been a while since I made a video. <sighs> wow. So, my last video was actually about my uh, TTO2 BRZ that my wife got me. And if you guys saw some of the pictures yesterday on my Instagram, Twitter, uh, my Facebook page and everything, you saw that the body is painted now I'm not going to show you what the body looks like now but um a video on that is coming out soon so since my wife ended up getting me that car it was only fair that she chose a color so I had her choose a color and the color that she chose was the color that she cho she chose which I am fine with it looks absolutely great the way that it is colored the paint that she chose is awesome. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, now you did see the white on there. I just put white backer just to try to pop that color a little bit better. Which you guys probably see what color it was. It was blue. So yeah. But the reason I'm making this video is because somebody ended up contacting me about the Hummer that I have. Which the behemoth is right here as you guys can see now the reason that I have the body off is because somebody like I said because somebody like I said had contacted me and because they are going to be making a build of um, I believe it's a Hummer also so they asked me what did they did I use to make this work I made him a video and let him know what I did to make um, this what it is so I figured right now is a perfect opportunity to end up showing everybody here <laughs> what I ended up using how I did it uh, what parts I used because I don't think I did that in the last video so, I probably did. I'm not sure. So, I'm going to go over everything that I did on the Hummer. So, if anybody wants to make a big 1.6 scale RC um, and they don't know which route to go, hopefully this will help you. Uh, now, a lot of stuff that are, is on here is custom made. I made it myself. Uh, I'm not no architect or anything like that. I don't have no 3D printers or lathes or CNC machines or anything like that. Everything that I have done on here is all by hand. Uh, Dremels and saws and, you know, did it the old way. <laughs> because, again, I don't have the access for the lathes and CNC machines and I don't have them. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know how to use them. Never did it before. So. What I want to go over with everybody is what parts I used on the Hummer. Um, they got to go into the way there is. And there is something that I have ordered for this Hummer that I've been looking for for a long time. Literally found it and I ordered it. Thank God they still had them available. And uh, we're going to be putting them on today. So, without further ado, let's uh, go on ahead and let me show you guys what is what on here. Alright, everybody. So, as we can see, this is the chassis. This is the new part of the chassis that I just put on the last time. Actually, it was the very first video that I started making um, my YouTube channel. And I did it with this because if you guys remember in the last video the chassis came straight this way and I didn't like it because the transmission was up way too high and I never liked the way that came out I just did it just for how to get it done but then I ended up doing all of this here on both sides uh, just to lower the transmission down further the transmission that I'm actually using for this is 
there's a lot of play in here. Look at this. I'm doing all this before it actually starts moving. <laughs> I might have to do something about that. Whoa, buddy. So what I the transmission that I use for this is the SCX10 transmission, as you guys can see right there. It's the old SCX10, the first SCX10. I actually call it the SCX10-1, which is a Gen 1. Now, the drive shafts, they are axial drive shafts. I, this part here, I had to bore out. Uh, hold on, hold on. There you go, right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. It literally says axial on there. Sorry about the glare. There you go. So, um, I had to bore that out in order for it to fit over the HPI axles. So, these are HPI Crawler King axles that I used for it. Uh, while we're back here, the suspension that I used on this is from the Axial Wraith with the strongest um, springs that they had available for, avail available for it. I never changed the oil on it. I just upgraded the springs. Um, I just upgraded the springs and it's a lot of tension on there. So, ended up doing that. Uh, what else? The lower links, I ended up fabricating them myself, which there are plenty of videos out there um, showing how to make links. So I'm not going to explain it, but basically it's a rod on the inside, so I am going to explain it. <laughs> rod on the inside, threaded rod on the inside, and this aluminum on the outside. Links on each end, and there you go. There's your links. Um, for the drive shaft, I believe I used three separate drive shafts. So it's one here, another one there, four for this one. So one, two, no, three here in the middle, just to capture those two together. On the front, I did the same thing. It was three. So you got the one down here, the one on top, and then the one that's buttoned up here in the middle that is going to catch both links. And it works. I'm amazed that it works, but it works. So going on to the front here, the axle mounted servo. I don't know if you'll be able to find that piece. So if anybody is wanting to use the same setup I have, which is with the Crawler King axles, I don't know if you'll be able to find that piece. Um, again, the Hobby Wing Quick Run ES brushed ESC that I used on it. Here, let me flip this guy this way so hopefully you guys can have a better idea of what this looks like underneath here. So with the middle plate transmission mount that I used, as you guys can see here, this is just an update video basically. Um, I ended up, I think that's uh, JB Weld actually, that I used on these pieces. Uh, don't even remember what these are, <laughs> but they work perfectly on the uh, links as you guys can see. I think there are actually two pieces that I ended up putting on there. I, I don't I don't remember, man. It's just been so long. Um, basically, when I first started, I first started the, the video on this, and it was uh, COVID hit, so I had plenty of time to work on them. Um, as you guys can see, HPI, the Crawler King. The one thing that has always kind of annoyed me about the Crawler King um, axles for the rear is this. So basically what HPI did was grab the Monster King, I think it's called, the HPI Monster, Monster King, and basically just turned that into a crawler. Um, so you can get four wheel steering out of it and everything. I, uh, you know, especially for that body right there and pay attention to that box. But basically on that uh, body right there, Hummers don't have four wheel steering. And yes, I understand this is a, it's not really a crawler, it's more like a trail truck. Uh, because again, if you guys have looked around for this body, this body is going over $100. So at the time when I got this body, it was like 50 bucks, I think it was, when I paid for it. 
Again, that was years and years and years ago. So I do not want to damage that body. Yes, I could probably find another one, use this chassis for that, but I I love the Hummer H2 body. I love it. So uh, that was the one thing that always pissed me off was the rear end of it. Uh, the other thing that I did, so if you guys can see, I put these on. I don't know if you can find these. I don't remember where I got them from. I have no memory of where I got them from. These are straight up aluminum. I had to actually change them out. This was actually when the Crawler King first came out also. That there was a whole bunch of parts available for it. And now I can't really find anything. Um, but, talking about parts. So... In this box, I was actually lucky to find what's in this box. So I'm going to put you guys down on the stand and I'm going to show you what's in this box. In this box, from, as you guys can see, Locked Up RC. Uh, I believe that. So I believe that they are the only ones that have something like this. I was literally amazed to find it. Which, if you guys are watching, thank you Locked Up RC. Because you basically, you really helped me out with this. So I have been wanting to get these for the longest time. And then I forgot about it. Oh, there we go. And then I forgot about it, and then I remembered about it again uh, because I was playing with the Hummer one day, and I'm like, oh, what was that called again? And so, what I got here from Locked Up RC, they sent two cool stickers that's going to go on there. Dude, guys, I ordered this. See if I can if there's a date on here there is no date unfortunately but I ordered this geez, uh, I think almost a year ago I ordered this thing I don't remember man so what I got here are the shafts wheel shafts here wheel shafts and I got lockouts so basically, what these are going to do is, on the rear here, is getting rid of this. So, this, uh, let me go this way, oh no, this way. Alright, so as you guys can see, the steering rod here in the back, which isn't really a steering rod. So this thing flexes like crazy. As you guys can see, I'm pushing on it. So every time I would go over a rock, the one wheel would get stuck on a rock or something, and this would happen. As you guys can see, that wheel turning or get stuck there, and this would happen. So as you guys can see, as I'm pushing on this tire, look at this one here. I'm trying to keep this. So, like, let's say you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing, your wheel gets stuck, and you have and look at this I push any further and this just bends so I'm capable of just hello so I never liked this whole setup from HPI yes crawler king if still it's a crawler king okay it's a crawler king chassis and I never liked that setup so I locked up RC Thank you so much. You guys definitely helped me out with this because um, it's been a long time coming that I've been wanting to get these. So I ordered, again, I ordered these, God, I will say about a year ago, if that. Yeah, I will say about a year ago that I ordered these things and I just haven't had the time to mess with it. And here we go. So what I'm going to do is start taking all of this apart and uh, basically the rear end start taking the rear end apart take the wheels off 
take the rear end apart and put these axles in. Put these axles in, put these lockouts in, and hopefully the back will end up looking better than having all that mess. So um, I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna have you guys watching. I'm gonna do like a fast speed. It's a wizard, some wizardry um, while I'm doing this, but I kind of forget how to work on this because <laughs> it's been so long. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and hit me down in the comments. Uh, I, after I put these on, I actually do want to take it out. I actually do want to take it out for a spin to see how this thing does uh, because I don't know. While I have you guys on here, before I even before I speed this thing up, while I have you here, so for the rear, I also have these extensions. So these extensions here help push the wheel out more, so it's kind of fits the body better. Because if not, then just the wheels alone just the wheels alone will end up being too far in too far into the body it doesn't look right so i had gotten these don't remember where don't remember where but i had gotten these two and um so but don't yell at me because i don't remember where i got them at actually i'm gonna have to pull that off yeah i gotta pull that off anyway so all right i was gonna do the fast forward thing but I'm thinking I'm just going to end up pausing the video for right now. When I start having all of this taken apart and I go to put these on, I will come back and show you guys how I did it. And uh, hopefully this works. So these are the new rods that they end up sending with the kit. As you can see, I already have one in partially. I kind of took it out. Already, I already had this whole piece assembled as you can see the wheel bearing there which came off of these knuckles here which you basically reuse the same um, wheel bearings that came with it which is one thing that's nice about the HPI is that it brings wheel bearings instead of to me a crap bushings so that is basically in i did all right that's that's actually in all the way um so i did end up greasing the inside i might actually have to take the housing apart there uh, more than likely that's going to need grease i haven't greased that in a very long time um so this piece it's metal straight it's all metal I had already greased the inside of it there. See if you guys can see it. Probably not. But I greased the inside of it already. There's some grease on the bearing. And basically what you're going to do is that hole that's right there. You're going to want to line it up with that hole that's right there. Because this thing, as you guys can see, has four cutouts on top, bottom, left, and right. Which has these little bump outs there. The bottom and on the sides you guys can probably see that so you basically just put this guy on line it up like so and push it on boom and there we go that's how she sits now like I said I had these to push the wheel out from there there you go so I had these on but I'm not gonna be able to use it so hopefully hopefully well hopefully the wheel when I put the wheel on take this piece out from in here 
Um, so when I go to put the wheel back on, hopefully it stays where I need it to be or else I'm going to have to get some different extensions. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to get different extensions to be able to get this guy to work and fit the body properly. So there we go. Uh, again, locked up RC, locked up RC, where did I put the box? So locked up RC, again, thank you for having these in stock. Um, it's going to look great. Oh, wait, the other thing. So again, so with these things, sorry for the mess on the table, guys. But so with now these being installed, this right here is all going to get deleted. So as you can see, these are the old parts which I'm actually going to save these because I might be able to use them again if need be for the front oh hey that's not part of the front <laughs> so if need be for the front um, obviously this part here I won't need because I have those but that part now I have an extra one and that's pretty much about it all I'll be able to use so all this is going to get deleted just gonna have that uh, when I'm done here I will show you guys the end result all right so I'm done <laughs> uh, this was a fairly easy thing to do for the uh, HBI crawler King uh, again I want to thank locked up RC for having these um, in stock because I would not have been able to do it without them um, so a big thank you to Locked Up RC for having that so that way I can make this look better than it does. That just looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. So what I was not anticipating is the fact that I need the 12 millimeter hex, just, that, just the hex part that the wheels mount on uh, the original from the HPI Crawler King, which I do not have. I'm gonna have to go on to HPI's website um, and see if I can find them, or I'll check out Locked Up RC's website and see if they have anything. Um, but what I had to do here was in order to get the wheels mounted on. Because I didn't realize so the hex that I have in there now holding the wheel is off of the to me a kit yeah that's what I had to do <laughs> just to get the wheels on just to get the wheels on I had to put them on to get the wheels on but I'll tell you what guys I mean how much better does that look how much cleaner does that look so I'll do a before shot and an after shot but how much better does that look guys without all that in the back there I mean if it was to stay four wheel, four -wheel steer um, that'd be great but I don't want it to four wheel steer and what always got me was the fact that I saw it in the one video that I actually took it out. Um, see if I can find it and I'll put it here. But uh, as I was looking for that, I mean as I was took it out on that little run, um, all I saw was just a rear wheel just like turn and I'm like, Arr. That's irritating me. So I've always wanted to get that, and I never did. But luckily, again, thank you, Locked Up RC, for having that available, and um, I'm being able to use them. So I'm not going to be able to take this out right now, but I will. Oh, man, the lighting. There we go. So I'm not going to be able to take this out right now, but 
I will soon. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this update on the Hummer build. And um, next video will either be the BRZ or this thing going out for a run. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you had, if you did, please leave a like button. Please, please hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. And I always end up uh, when I can. I reply to the messages. So to the comments, so just hit me up and hopefully, hopefully see you guys in another video. You all have a good one.